Corinne? Shino, what is it? I have this feeling that Corinne is calling me. Corinne? Lloyd, in this area, where's the place with the strongest connection to summit spirits? In this area, the Martell Temple, I guess. It had a seal and all. I have this feeling that's where Corinne is. But it can't be. I'm sorry. Forget it. Sheena. Yeah, no, we're not going to forget it. You already brought it up. We may as well go there. To the Martell Temple! Alright, here we are at the Martell Temple. And now let's go see anything about Sheena hearing Corinne or something. I'm sure about this. Corinne is here. But there wasn't a summon spirit here, Sheena. But I can't feel him. I can feel Corinne. Let's go further in. Please, Lloyd. Okay, sure. Let's go. All right. And let's just go to where we initiated this whole freaking quest in this whole game in the first place. Was it just my imagination? He doesn't seem to be here. Sheena. What? Corinne's bell is... Corinne! Corinne, is that you? Sheena, descendant of those who control powers of summoning. You, who showed me the human heart. You're not Corinne? Desire, generosity, laughter, sadness, anger, violence, concern, love, hate. What the heck is it saying? What will I ultimately gain from the human heart? I, Various, pose this question upon you. Now, show me. Here it comes. I have felt your hearts. Oh, that was very anticlimactic. Anxiety, regret, impatience, loneliness, but even greater hope, courage, and love. We're not going to fight? I exist to observe all things that possess a heart. I form no packs. I will be bound by no one. You said your name was Various. Who are you? Sheena, I am the one who was once known as Corinne. The summoned spirit that has the longest contract with the human heart. Contact that. Contact with the human heart? When my strength was fading, human hearts held on to me. All human emotion, both negative and positive, changed me into the summoned spirit of heart, Various. Heart! <laughs> oh boy, no, no. God, no, Various! So you're Corinne, right? Yes, yes. You can say that. I am Corinne. We can be together again, right? You'll come with me, right? Corinne? No, I shall become part of the world and watch over all those I possess. Heart! <laughs> no. Sheena, descendant of summoners, I cannot go with you. However, my heart will be with you. Oh boy, I almost said it that time. For my existence as the summoned spirit of heart was established by touching your hearts. Our hearts will be together. Ah! I didn't mean to do it that time! Yes, they will as long as you, as long as people have hearts. I shall be with all people, and I shall continue to walk with you, Sheena. As long as we have hearts? Never forget. Your promise with me is your heart. God! Why did I start that joke in the first place? Our hearts. This is great. Sheena Corinne is back. That's right. If it was the human heart that brought Corinne back as various, it was your heart that did it, Sheena. No, it was because of all of you. It was your hearts that brought various and me together. Thank you, everyone. Yeah. Alright, so, Corinne is back as Various, the Summon Spirit of Heart. That's pretty damn cool. All I'm hoping is that there is not a sequel in which, yeah, she's somehow thrown in there even though this was entirely optional. And I'm really hoping that sequel doesn't have, uh, you know, like, something that kind of resembles Summon Spirits in a way, but in a way not really because these guys actually control monsters and... For some reason, they're called Centurions. Yeah, if that happens, that's that's gonna be pretty fucking stupid. Shifty guys. Anyway, with that out of the way, I've gotten everything uh, side quest wise that I wanted to get out of the way. So we got Genus's One World. We got him Meteor Storm. We got Sheena some closure with Kuchinawa, and now we got her and uh, become the next chief. And we now close that whole thing with Corinne. Pretty damn good, if I may say so myself. Plus, we got all the Devil's Arms, and we restored Luin. Luin, whatever. 
All I'm hoping is that Lewin doesn't turn out to be a city of assholes in the future. Shifty eyes. Anyway, all that's left to do, though, is one last thing. Or at least, I think it's the last thing anyway. So you have come, strong ones. I have reclaimed all I had once lost. Now fight! Everything was for this moment. This is gonna be tough. Of course it's gonna be tough, dude! This is the final fight against the Sword Dancer. And I did stock up on items and such, and I have Colette and Rain in the party, of course, because yes, yeah, we're kinda fucked here. Do not let up on the attacks with this guy. At all. And yeah, he is a much, much tougher than he ever was before. Not to mention, like, he also has these buffs on him where he can automatically increase his attack or defense. You'll see him, like, once in a while. It kind of looks like he, he uses sharpness or, uh, sharpness or barrier on himself. Holy crap. So, of course, he is going to be a lot harder. That's why I have uh, Rain and uh, Colette in the party because, of course, they're the ones with magic attacks. Oh, boy. So, yeah. Be sure to watch out for his magic attacks too, because yeah, they're much hard, tougher and hard hitting than ever before. And there goes everyone else. Jesus! All right, rain heal yourself so you can heal the rest of us. There you go. Oh God! And when you see him casting a lightning spell, oh for the love of God, get out of there asap! That's indignation. The strongest lightning spell in pretty much the entire series. It could almost one-shot anyone with full health. And you see right there, uh, Regal barely survived it. Barely freaking survived it. Just barely. Oh, God. Oh, for the love of God, he'll... And, yeah, he does defend and attack easily. So, yeah, might want to... Can someone please use a light spell on this guy? Oh, God. Never mind. All right, rain heal yourself. All right, never mind, Jesus. So yeah, he hits hard too, so be sure to defend whenever you see him using a physical attack. You don't want that to happen. And, and I probably should heal up right now. All right, blame Lance. Of course you can't concentrate, you're getting hit by magic attacks everywhere in this bitch. Up oh, there, soul infusion. And spark wave. God damn it. Didn't defend it quick enough. Hey, 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 hey. Damn it, Regal, help me with the attacks! You're the only other physical attacker I got with me! Oh, God, you know what? Screw it. Regal? Yeah. Where do I. Attack the same enemy? Yeah, you know what? Yeah, attack the same enemy. Of course, I don't know what the hell. Stop trying to use that. Seriously, he knows how to defend pretty damn quick, too, especially after an attack. And... God damn it. He's gonna use indignation again. Oh, there it is. Damn it, Regal, for fuck's sake, get out of there. There, I had to control you in order to actually do that. And how is it Lloyd actually managed to get him out of, like, that? I don't know what the hell. Regal, for fuck's sake, help me with the attacking here. What the hell, man? You know what? Nah, screw you. No, no healing. No healing whatsoever. For fuck's sake, you're not helping. Go for... Dude, either freaking help me with the attacking or just stop standing there. And indignation. Oh, God. Oh, God. There he goes. Look at that, how much freaking health that took out. Oh boy. Come on, Regal. I know you could kick some ass, buddy. Why did I have you in the party in the first place then? If you're not even gonna attack. Uh, Regal. Either you need the TP or something else. You're not helping whatsoever. Oh god. Alright. Thank you. You could have at least done some regular attacks too. Or fuck. 
Thankfully, I got a bunch of life bottles. I oh, just gotta hope he doesn't try taking this out all at once. Oh god. Alright, hurry for the revitalize at the most opportune moment. Damn you, Soul Infusion! And damn. Yeah, watch out for the attack where he, like, spins his sword all around his body, because that'll definitely not... Yeah, that'll take out a good chunk of your health. If you're, like, even near half your health, you're you're so fucked. Because that thing will pretty much one-hit kill you. Hey, man, how much? Oh, God, we're barely at half of his health! Damn it, Regal! Oh, boy, that managed to hit me. And Rain, use a Miracle Gel on yourself. Damn it, Regal! And yeah, he's automatically doing that whole buff with the uh, attack and defense and such. And thank you for that, Colette. Thank you for that. There you go. And I'm going to need a Miracle Gel on myself. Hey! Okay, that Miracle Gel was pointless then. Oh, God. Damn it, Regal, help me out here. Help me out! Stop running around like a jackass! Then help me with the fighting then, buddy! Up oh, there I go. And yeah, he could pretty much cast one spell right after the other. As you guys can see right there, even during the whole eruption, I was getting my ass... He was starting to cast another spell. And yeah, I'm relying on the whole sorting out with raining Tiger Blade combo right here. Because, yeah... Oh boy. I'm out of TP. Come on, buddy. Thank you for finally using that rain! Holy crap! She's been helping with the support up until now. Uh, Rain, help me without a lemon gel right here. Oh boy. Oh, that was pointless. Yeah, this guy really knows how to when to attack and when to defend. Hey, 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 dude, help me out here. Oh god. There we go. And there goes Regal with the health and the such whatnot and stuff. Oh god, I can't even concentrate properly. And Flame Lance. Well, good thing he was going for Rain with that. Because, yeah. There we go! Wow, and a Neox Gem level 1. Pretty nice. And earned the title Prattful King. What the hell is that? I, uh, uh, farewell, strong ones. Hey, I didn't end that with what? So now we got the Kusanagi blade. So is it over? Yes, I don't think it'll, uh, I don't think it'll appear again. With this, that poor skeleton's finally been saved. Saved? It might have been painful for him if he had to give up, but if he was satisfied, then it means he's been released from his suffering. Suffering? I never thought about that at all. In other words, even that monster may have had a reason to be seeking combat. But I think his desire was finally fulfilled. While it may have been a creature of the underworld, it still possessed intelligence, just like us. It had a reason for existing. I let my pre preconceptions prevent me from seeing such an obvious thing. It looks like even I still have a lot to learn. So sometimes you could save someone just by fighting and defeating them. Yeah, is that some good damn logic right there? I think he was satisfied because you worked so hard for him. Hey, <laughs> hey, I'm done. You're amazing, Colette. Huh? Thanks to you, that guy was saved. Yes, if Colette hadn't told us this, he would have been nothing more than another defeated monster. Damn right. But thankfully, that guy gave us Lloyd's strongest weapon, the Kusanagi Blade. Weapon, a weapon used by the Eastern Gods to defeat evil spirits. So yeah, this is stronger than even the Material Blade, and I think there's, and I think the Paper Fan is too, the one you get at Luin. But yes, Kusanagi Blade, you gotta love it. So I think with that, that is everything. I'm just gonna be backing up into. Oh wait, wrong way. It's the other way. What the hell am I going? All right, so let's get back to Mythos's castle. Now, with everything out of the way, all that's left is to face Mythos himself. All right, guys, this is it. 